Well, thank you very much, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Just looking at my partner up here, I realize we look more like the annual meeting of the Hair Club for Men. <laughs> Certainly an honor and a pleasure to be here with uh, many uh, old friends and colleagues and many new and truly all uh, distinguished members of the law enforcement community that are trying to do the right thing, uh, which isn't always easy, particularly in the times that we're, we're living in and the generation that we're now hiring, although there's some challenges there, I think there's many more opportunities and, and uh, we will survive. I'm not going to say anything today that many of you aren't practicing already, haven't seen, heard. Uh, like some pre a previous speaker said, there's not a whole pile of new stuff out there. I'm sure we're all doing the very things I'm going to talk about, but at the same time, I'm going to give my perspective for what it's worth and what works for me uh, after many years as a supervisor or a senior executive in the organization. I firmly believe that 360-degree communication, the good, the bad, and the ugly, uh, up and down and across our organizations is a critical leadership issue. And this comes more natural to some than others. And there's some in this room that aren't comfortable speaking to a, a problem employee, to use the term someone used earlier, or, uh, or even uh, give praise at times. It's just a, not a natural thing. Uh, but it can make or break us as leaders. Uh, if we're not, and it's such a simple thing, even at my age, at 33 years on the job, I still like to be told I'm doing a good job once in a while. And sometimes we forget that in terms of our communication because we're communicating corporate issues as chiefs or senior executives. We're talking about policy changes, uh, things like that, very broad and sometimes very focused strategic communication plans. And sometimes we forget the little things, like just touching base with our people and getting to know them and them getting to know you. It's paramount in my view that we build the trust of the people that we lead as much as humanly possible. And we have to do that through a very effective communication strategy. Bob's gonna talk a little more specific about a communication strategy he dealt with. We heard from the Chief of Winnipeg about some challenges he faced and how he dealt with it. I'm gonna talk more about my own ongoing communication strategy and just how I do business, bearing in mind that I know there's a time and a place for specific focused uh, strategic uh, communication strategies. If our people are going to trust our judgment and walk through broken glass for us in a crisis, we have to build that trust through the good times, uh, the day-to-day -day times, and the less challenging times. Because when the proverbial poop hits the fan, there's no time for a group hug. Somebody has to trust you and trust that you're gonna make the right decision and they'll follow you anywhere. That's not easy to do, but it's something we have to do throughout our careers. And we build that trust all along the way at all ranks, but when they're watching us more closely like they are now uh, at the higher ranks and in the present uh, technological world we w live in, um, it's even more critical. Our people watch us and listen to us more than ever in our history. When I think back uh, to 33